see? You've nothing to worry about. Your business will be in good hands. Let me see yesterday's list again. All right. Hmm. Thirteen. Fifteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-eight. I could use a new pouch, but no. We just need to find out where to go. We mustn't be wasteful. Oh, we can't afford it. Excuse me, mistress. Oh, I've seen you before. You're gonna see someone in the jail, right? It's the only explanation why they'd let you enter the courtyard dressed like that. That wasn't very nice. What is it? The jailer refused to let us see our father unless we paid him. Could you offer us some work? Do you even know what business I'm in? Wool. This is a wool stall, isn't it? And what do wool merchants do? Sell wool? No. Well, yes. In the end, we do, but first we buy it from the peasants. The peasants bring the wool and the Flemish take it away. All I have to do is store and transport it and get the prices right. And that is cheaper if it's done alone. With some minor help from me, that is. Could you lend us some money? Unlikely. What for? We need to talk to our father. He's a prisoner in the castle's jail. And the jailer won't let us see him until we give him a penny. Once you get back to him, it'll be two pennies at least. What are you saying? Once Odo sees that you really want something, he'll start overcharging for it. In the end, he's just another businessman. At this rate, we'll never see Father. Could you help us talk to him? Ah, uh, sorry, but no. Oh, uh, what were you doing at the jail? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to pry. You know, my husband is a prisoner as well. He used to run this business, but he was caught selling underweight. Now I have to travel to Flanders and tell my husband's agents that they don't need to worry. Leaving my entire business in this man's hands. A wise decision. A man whose calculations leave a lot to be desired. <clears throat> I tell you what. I will give you enough to pay Odo if you help us count the fleeces inside. Do you know how to count? I told you my calculations are right. There are 23 sacks. Yes, we know how to count. Then go into my stall and tell me how many there are. Thank you so much. Come on, Richard. Let's do this together. One. Six. Thirteen, fourteen, twenty. All right, I got it. I'll tell you when you're done. How many have you got? Twenty-three. Uh, are you certain? I think so. Please, count again. What? Why? To make sure you were right the first time. Only if you do that too, Ali. I will. One, two... Nine. Eleven. Sixteen. I'm done. So? Hmm. It's 
still 23. Please count again. Oh. <sighs> um, oh, this time it's 22. So? I'm not counting anymore, Ali. I'm certain it's 22. Let's tell them then. We're done. Good. So, tell me. All in all, there are 22 sacks of wool in there. Tell me again, Aldous. How much did you pay per sack? As I said, for mixed quality such as this, it was one pound average. One pound per sack? Ah, selling wool is good business. With the coin you have here, this means... I'm right. We're one sack short. The children miscounted. It seems everyone miscounts apart from you. Here's your coin, girl. You confirmed my own calculation, so I'm giving you more than what you asked for. If you're smart, you'll find out what Odo wants more than money. Then he might not ask for so much. What would that be? Let's just say he likes to feel like a good person every once in a while. It makes him feel less like the monster his job has made him. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. And good luck in Flanders. It'll be all right. You really gave them money? I can do with my coin whatever I like, unlike you. So don't follow my example. I won't. Hands off that cart. We just loaded it. I'm fine, Ali. They've done enough for us already. We mustn't be wasteful. We'd better not linger here. We might run into the Hamleys.
Hm? Bye bye. Hmm? Here. Well, that's one for you. It'll be two pence if your brother wants in as well. Are you mad? I didn't expect that from you. Why not? I thought you were a decent person. Well, I... I am. But I'm also a very funny bloke. Was just fooling around with you. You can get in for free, of course. Have fun seeing your father. Who's there? just. It's still very fair. Are you both well? How have you managed? <coughs> Where have you been living? <coughs> they wouldn't tell me anything about you. It was the worst of the torture. After they took you, we lost everything. I am sorry for what, what happened to you. Have you found a new home yet? We've been living in the castle. Matthew has been taking care of us. But you, you can't live there anymore. By now, the king has probably made that dumb oaf. <coughs> Percy Hamley, the Earl. But where's Matthew? <coughs> Why isn't he with you? He was killed by the Hamleys. No. But they did us no harm. <coughs> then what happened to your ear, Richard? It's nothing but a mere scratch. Father, we have to ask King Stephen to release you. No! I swore an oath to King Henry. <coughs> Princess Maud and her sons will rule. I shall not swear allegiance <coughs> to Stephen, and neither will you, even if the other parents did. <coughs> Do you hear me? Yes, Father. Stephen is not our king, not, not mine, and not yours. Please, Father, please calm yourself.
said. Just get father some water, okay? <coughs> Hurry, Ellie! No better than William Hamley. Stop it, both of you. After we get the money, what should we do? Your Aunt Edith lives in the village of Huntley on the road <coughs> to Gloucester. You are to go there. Richard, you will be a squire to her husband, Sir Simon. You will learn the arts of knighthood. Aliena, you will... you will be lady-in-waiting to Aunt Edith until you marry. What about you? <coughs> I will die in this cell. We won't let you. You will. And before you leave, I want you both to swear an oath. We can't leave you like this. You can, and you will. Richard, pull out your sword. <coughs> now, put your hand on the hilt, my son. Swear. By Almighty God, and Jesus Christ, and all the saints, <coughs> that you will not rest until you are Earl of Shiring and Lord of all the lands I ruled. I swear by Almighty God, and Jesus Christ, and all the saints, that I will not rest until I am Earl of Shiring and Lord of all the lands you ruled. Now you, Aliena, <coughs> swear by Almighty God and, and Jesus Christ and all the saints <coughs> that you will take care of your brother Richard <coughs> until he has fulfilled his vow. I swear by Almighty God and Jesus Christ and all the saints that I will take care of my brother Richard until he has fulfilled his vow. There. Now, you need never come to this place again. No, don't, don't say that. You have promised 
to rebuild what we have lost. Today, I will confess my sins, pray for my soul. Now, go. Richard. Richard, we have to go. We have to go. Guard! Open up! We've wasted too much time on this vile man already. Percy Hamley, Bishop Waleron. Good morning. Ali! It's them! Over there! The Hamleys! Again, thank you for your assistance in Kingsbridge, my son. We have to thank you. Without you, we wouldn't be here today. Right, Mother? Of course. Well, don't just stand there. Walk out with me, but very calmly. We can't let them see us. Oh, children, pardon me. Now missing one more. Here he is. <laughs> 